Hello everybody. I Anish Upadhyay, a student from the Latrobe University and my discussion today will be about bodybuilding and the confession made by the author in this book. Muscles. Yes, that is what inspires everybody. Either impress or make someone superior than yourself, you make muscles. And that is what exactly the author has mentioned in this book. Sam Wilson Fasser, the author himself, was a writer and the hunter in Montana. Graduated from the Oxford University at the age of 24 and then moved to New York in pursuit of his further studies in English literature at the Yale University. Now, what does this book mainly speaks about? It speaks about the author's confession in pursuing his utmost obsession, that is bodybuilding. The world of 1980s bodybuilding was full of steroids, stuffing, starvations and style over substance. He was working out at the gym in New York in pursuing great heights. He then moved to California on advice of his friends and that is when exactly the author started using steroids. He gave up his job, took a job as a trainer at a gym and he was going through a tough time due to divorce of his parents. This is the pre-iron phase which author terms as and this is how he used to look at the age 14, then at the age 22 and the age 24 when he graduated from the Oxford University. You can look at the transformation that he has made from a screeny brat at the Oxford University and he's second from the right and he was posing at the Golden Valley and he did come second in that competition. The main the issues the author mentioned about was the bodybuilding and he termed this as a disease. A disease which he mentions is the obsession of transforming into a fearsome giant which he once dreamt. The reason why he joined bodybuilding was crimes, assaults, rapes which took place in the streets of New York. He found that he was very predictable and thought that anybody could overpower him. He wanted either to run away or to face the fear. During his peak time at the California gym, he was very well aware about the amount of steroids that he was using. But that didn't stop him from injecting steroids into his body because he wanted to be something big in the world of bodybuilding. Kevin Courier completely agreed with him and he states that digging into a muscle is like plunging into a memory of a drug addict who finds compelling ways to describe what he finds so pleasurable about the addiction and even though he knows he's going to kill himself. The author was thoroughly unable to inject any more steroids into his body because of pain but he still continued to mutilate himself and overstarved him before the competition like and he was not able to walk to the competition he was taken into a car. The, another critic writer is Jean Leon a communalist in the United States of America and uh, he mentions that the fear was the only reason why he joint bodybuilding. He commented that Fussell had increased his stamina in bodybuilding. He could bench press around 405 pounds. But what about running? He could not even run 20 yards. This were the physical consequences if you use steroids. The another book review, Kirkus Review, is the world's toughest book critic. And it was founded by Virginia Kirkus in 1993. And this book has not given even a single critic about the author but has supported author that why did he choose bodybuilding? What was the reason that he made him join bodybuilding? That was the fear in the streets of New York. Moreover, Furser argues that why he joined bodybuilding and his health continued to deteriorate as he moved to New York. First he was diagnosed with pneumonia then with lung pleurisy and he also knew that he was an ectomorph and that's why the friends used to tease him at 6 foot 4, 170 pounds he got bullied by every guy and he believed that anybody could overpower him he asked everybody for their opinion and what can be done in order to face the fear and then finally the disease struck him on September 1984 it all happened at the street of New York when a big guy ran towards him after completely smashing the yellow cab. In order to run away from him, he hid in a New York landmark bookstore. And this is the book which he read, 
written by Arnold, The Education of the Bodybuilder. And by looking at the book himself, he said, Oh, if I have the muscles like Arnold, then nobody can stop me. I have nothing, no reason to fear to anybody. And this is what he imagined himself, that this is what I look and I'll be after I join bodybuilding. The first main reason to join bodybuilding was to overcome fear. But then slowly he started to continue his career in bodybuilding. And that is when he got drifted. This were the books that he used to refer while bodybuilding in California when he was using steroids. The book by Arnold, Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding and Muscle Wars by Rick Wayne. Both were the prime time books in the era of bodybuilding in 1980s. Now, what I feel that the book could have gone to describe about the author's path after he left bodybuilding. Which path did he choose after giving up on steroids and bodybuilding? What did he do? What, where did he work? The book does end abruptly and he did mention about the obsession he gave up but he did not mention what did he do after bodybuilding and likely said by Chris Bursley that he did not like the way the author disappeared after completing this book. He could have been an idol to many wannabe Arnolds in today's world. The best part about this book is that he has self-criticized himself throughout the book and has been honest. That is what the author of this book liked, that is Chris Bursley. For sure, if you are going to inject your body with steroids, this is what is going to happen to you and exactly what has happened to author of this book. He first developed acne, then he developed headaches, then he had mood swings, he had terrible rage, he could get angry over anything, any small amount of fight or even uh, some words. So, one of the main reasons why people decide to use steroids is that they feel that they will improve their appearance, show off. I do agree that it will improve your muscles, it will make you look big. But what about the side effects? At times you can even die. Nobody gets a stage platform like the great Arnold did. Now talking about the ethical issues. Use of steroids other than bodybuilding is totally banned by the sports authority. And if you are found guilty that then you are suspended or even jailed. But it's still available in grey market and on online. And they get this license from the government. They are not available legally at the pharmacist store anywhere around the world. This is the data collected by the Australian government about the number of people using steroids. Look at the graph in 2011 and look at the graph in 2012. It's very high. You can see the picture in this the great Arnold Schwarzenegger. This was the peak era in 1980, the way he looked. But just look at this, what has happened to him? He has undergone an open heart surgery in 1997 due to usage of steroids. Another example would be the steroid usage by the Austrian bodybuilder Andreas Musner. He died in 1996 in pursuing the uh, field of bodybuilding because of using excessive potassium channel blockers. I would just like to conclude this topic by asking one question. Is steroid use in bodybuilding the answer to overcome the fear from society? The answer would be absolutely no. Guys, you are heading in a wrong direction. That is what the author has mentioned in this book. It is good that he realized this soon, but that does not happen in everybody's case. Your life is more important than anything. Just get once to live. Do not bargain your life with devil by using steroids. This book serves an eye opener for youngsters who think to impress someone you need muscles and to make big muscles you need to inject steroids. Again, I thank you very much for spending your precious time in watching this video and please think twice before injecting steroids into your body.